Saturday night, a devastating blaze ripping through duplex. In its path, burning two families out of a home. Now, pieces of charred remains stand as a ghostly reminder. The lady downstairs was a single mother going to school, raising her children. The girl upstairs worked full time, another single mother raising her kids. They were beautiful people. Ashley Cooley is one of two mothers living inside the apartment with her kids, ages 12 and 13 years old. Fortunately, we were gone. We had just gotten back, and then when we got back, everything was basically in flames. Cooley, who was eight weeks from graduating from Mercyhurst University with a degree in occupational therapy, and works full time, says the moment she came home was one word, devastating. Just everything that I had, you know, my my life, you know, my home, my, the only place that I could come to and find comfort gone. So, yeah, it was very life-changing for me. And taking a look at the house, you can see the devastation left by the fire and Fire Chief Guy Santone telling us it was a difficult one to fight. Just a total loss. Uh, I'm going to get with the uh, building inspectors and uh, go up there and then see if they, they need to be taken down or or what are they going to have to do with it. The other residents were not there to comment on the event, but neighbor Palermo says she hopes to see the Cochran Street community unite to help these affected families. Now, Cooley says her family will take it one day at a time as she moves forward to finish out her degree. They will be staying with her parents. In the meantime, she says all donations are welcome. As you can see, they lost everything in that fire. Okay. Back to you guys in the studio. So, Mayor Nefsi, thank you for that live report.